Well, she is a New York Times bestselling author credited with transforming the role and images of women in crime novels. And she's a Chicagoan. Give a warm Chicago welcome to Sarah Peretzky. Hi, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Hi. So nice to meet you. It's great to be here. Thank you. Yeah, and you've been in Chicago for most of your life, and you've never left. We love that. <laughs> most writers make it big, and then they go to New York, they go to L.A., but why have you stayed here? Well, I did it the other way around. I thought if you wanted to be a writer, you had to be in New York. So when I was 23, I went, and I got a job as a secretary, and I lay awake all night listening to people drop bottles out the window of the apartment that I found to share. <laughs> had people come trying to break down the door. One of my roommates had a motorcycle and she uh, kept it in the apartment to keep it from evaporating. So she turned it on and on the other side oh they thought God. there was a chainsaw inside and they ran yeah. away and I thought, oh. <laughs> I am not tough enough for New York. So. Yeah, and that's what made you come on back right. on to Chicago. Yeah. Mm. I thought I could be a secretary here and I could sleep all night. Yeah, <laughs> there well, you, go. you did not do that. You were responsible for a number of best selling novels. I want to talk to you about the process. I love when we have authors on to just talk about how you come up with these complex plots and storylines. And you're also credited with transforming the role of and the image of women in crime novels. So when I started, which was quite a long time ago now, women in crime fiction, they were either really chaste good girls who couldn't tie their shoes in public without adult supervision, or they were vamps who tried to make good boys do bad things and mm. had to be punished. And I wanted a woman who was like me and my friends. She could have a sex life, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, she could solve problems. She didn't need to be rescued. And she would be quintessentially Chicagoan. So, right, um, right. Well, so V.I. Warshawski is obviously a big film. Kathleen Turner was the star. W was she always the person you envisioned for this role? Well, not at all, to tell you the truth. But I owe her a lot because they only made the movie because she wanted to do it and mm. her commitment to the character was really crucial. Right, it's got to be flattering that her and many others in Hollywood uh, admired the fact that you were putting women, having them seen in a different light. Right. It was. It was quite a thrill and um, it was very fun. I got to have dinner with her a couple of times. She took my husband and me out when the film opened. So it was, it was great. Mm -hmm. Right. Now tell us about the new book you have there. So Shell Game, it is set in Chicago, as almost all of my books are. It features a billionaire real estate developer in debt to the Russian mob. Uh, he does not have orange hair. <laughs> <laughs> it, it deals with stolen artifacts from the <laughs> Middle East, and uh, they wind up at the Oriental Institute Museum on, on Chicago's south side. and. V.I. gets dragged in through family connections. She has a friend, mentor, Lottie Herschel, whose great nephew is accused of murder, and yeah. that ties it all together. Mm. Oh, How yeah. long does it take you to write a novel? Oh, about two days. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not buying that. You'd be the first to come on this show and say that if that's true. How long, really? No, really, anywhere from a year to 18 months. Mm. In New York, they'd like me to do one a year, and I would, too. If, if It yeah. takes me a long time to think. I write fast, but I think slow. Right. Well, you said one of the best things about writing is that you get to explore all these thousands of different personalities that are kind of floating around in your brain, is that true? It is true, and you know, V.I., my detective, she's so brave, she's so tough, and I'm so not. Yeah. Uh, she but that's the best part of writing, because exactly. you can write what you want to be. Exactly, and I had a lot of siblings. Yeah, I was an only child, so she got all the attention. You know, mm. you just, uh, <laughs> and she has dogs that come when they're called. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. You use a lot of real locations in Chicago? Well, yes, I yeah. do. And one of my favorite, I had her growing up on the far south side, South Chicago, uh, because it's an area where you really have to be tough mm -hmm. to survive if yeah, you're a kid did. growing up in those streets. So there are a lot of locations down there that are fascinating. And one of my favorites is Dead Stick Pond, which is down near 120th and Torrance, oh, near, yeah. near 120th yeah, 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 and Stony. Yeah, off the Bishop Fort. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Last wetlands within the city limits and um, just a fascinating place, great place to dump a dead body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> on that note, thank yeah. you, Sarah. <laughs> you can get her new book, Shell Game, wherever books are being sold. But Sarah is giving everyone in this audience a copy of her book. Thank you, Sarah.